Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Math grade nine and Jibra one. We are in model six, lesson five. Today we have graphing inequalities in two variables. Graphing inequalities in two variables. And in the previous uh, lessons, we learned how to, to graph inequality if we have just one variable. If we have just one variable, we can use uh, the number line, then we can determine uh, the value of uh, the solution. Then we can use open circle or, or closed circle. Then we can uh, determine the direction for the positive side or the negative side. But in this lesson, we have two variables. What we do if we have two variables? So the first idea in this lesson, we want to learn graphing linear inequalities in two variables. The graph of a linear inequality represents the set of all points that are solutions of the inequality. The edge of the graph is a boundary depending on the inequality. The boundary will or will not be included in the solution set. The boundary divides the coordinate plane into regions called half planes. When the boundary is included, the solution of the linear inequality is a closed half plane. When the boundary is not included, it is open half plane. So step one to graph or to graph the linear inequality is step one, graph the boundary, use solid boundary when the inequality contains equals greater than or less than or equals. And use a dashed boundary when the inequality contains less than or equals than. The second step, use test point to determine which half plane should be shaded. Then shade the half plane that contains the solution. For example, graph an inequality with an open half plane. Graph this inequality with 3x minus 2y less than 8. Step 1, graph the boundary. So as you see here in this inequality, we have two variables. We have x and we have y. Try to write this inequality like y equal or y less than or y greater than. So we want to remove 3x to the second side, will be negative 3x. Then we want to remove negative 2 from here, so divide by negative 2 and switch the sign. So the inequality will be y greater than 3 over 2x minus 4. Now we know the inequality. How, how to graph this inequality? To graph this inequality, as you see, we have this is negative 4, this is y intercept, means we have the point 0, negative 4 will be here. Then you can choose any point, and if, uh, if x 0 will be here, this term 0, and y will be negative 4. If x 2, 2 times 3 divided by 2 will be 3, 3 minus 4 will be 1, so y will be minus 1. So will be the point will be about here. Then you can match between them, you will get the linear. But as you see, you see here, you don't have equal in the sign. If you don't have equal in the sign, use use a dashed a dashed boundary. A dashed boundary like this. Not continue, not continue line. Like uh, um, uh, uh, more points or some points in the same line. This is the meaning of the dash line. This is dash line. So we use this dash line when we don't have equals. The second step, use the test point. And as you see here, when you draw 
the line here or the linear inequality. Uh, this linear inequality divides the coordinate to the two parts. Here we have to the right part and to the left part. We know what we want to know what is the part of the solution. So we can choose uh, points. We can choose 0, 0, for example. And substitute 0, 0 in the inequality. The X will be 0. So the Y will be 0. So 3 times 0, 0. The negative 2 times 0, 0. 0 minus 0 will be 0. Is it 0 less than A? Less than a? Yes. So it means we have right inequality. If we have right inequality, means this point included in the solution means uh, this the right part. So we can shade it. We can shade it. This bar means and this is the area of the solution of this inquiry. This is the area of the solution of this inquiry. And if you try any point from this side and substitute in the inquiry, you will get wrong inquiry. You will get wrong inquiry. Means here, this is not the solution. This is not the solution. So step three, uh, shade the half plane because the test point is the solution of the inequality. Shade the half plane on uh, counting the test point. The second example here, graph an inequality with a closed half plane. We have this inequality 3x plus 4y less than or equal 0. Try to write this inequality like y less than or y greater than. So we have this inequality. We want to remove 3x to the second side. So uh, 4y less than or equal minus 3x. Then divide the two sides by 4. So y less than or equal negative 3 over 4 x. So as you, hear, as you see here, we have equal. As you see here, we have equal. And when we have equal, use continuum straight, continuum line or solid line, solid line, when you have equal. How to know what is the area of the solution? You can do a test. You can do a test. And as you see here, you have this part and you have this part. Hello, we can't choose any point from this part or from this point, but it's up to you. For example, here, we will take 1, 1. We will take 1, 1. Take 1, 1 and substitute this value in this inquiry. Put the value of x1, the value of y1, then count 3 times 1, 3, and 4 times 1, 4, 3 plus 4, 7. Is it 7 less than or equal 0? No, 7 is not less than or equal 0. That means... This point not in the set of the solution means this part not the area of the solution of this inequality means the take the second part the area of the solution so you can shade it this part you can shade it this part but for example here We have this example, 2x plus y less than negative 4. 
two x plus y less than negative one. The first step, try to write this thing will be like y less than y less than. So uh, try to remove negative two to the second side. So here y the sign here less than and 2x will be negative 2x and here minus then how how to graph this inequality if i make here small table this is for x uh, this is for y and i choose any point if you choose x zero y will be negative one so this is the first point right if you choose x one minus two minus two times one will be minus two minus two plus minus four will be minus six create the coordinate Uh, zero, negative four. This is here, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, here negative five, negative six. Zero, negative four will be here. And one, negative six, this is one, and this is one, negative six will be here. Then you can match between the points, the two points here. Now, how to draw the line? Is it continue or dash? As you see, we don't have equal in the sign. So draw dash, dash line like this. Then after you graph the linear inequality, how to uh, represent the area of the solution, how to represent the area uh, of the solution. And as you see, we have two parts. We have the part here up and the part here down. And you can choose any point from up or down. And from up, you have this point, you have zero, zero. So, so you can make the test. Take zero, zero and substitute. The value of y will be zero. Is it? Is it this then? Minus two times the value of x will be zero. Minus four. So here we have zero. Less than minus two times zero minus two. Here the negative four. And is it zero less than minus four? Is it zero less than minus four? No. Zero greater than minus four. So it means this point not in the solution of this inequality. And means this area, not the area of the solution. It means this is this is the area of the solution. So you can shade it this area. You can shade it this area. Who has any question about this example? Is it clear for all? Okay. The second example. X minus two Y greater than minus four. X minus two Y greater than minus four. The first step try to write this thing will be like Y greater than. 
So we can remove x to the second side. So here we have negative 2y greater than x will be negative x minus 1. Then try to remove negative 2. So divide, divide the two sides by negative 2. Negative 2y divided by negative 2 will be y. Switch the direction of the sign because we divide by negative number. And here, negative 1 divided by negative 2 will be 1 over 2x. And negative 4 divided by negative 2 will be 2. Now we want to graph this inequality. If you choose x0, you will get y2. But if you choose uh, x2, 2 times half will be 1. 1 plus 2 will be 3. Now we can create uh, the coordinate. Uh, 0, 2, this is 1, this is 2, this is 0, 2, and 2 in the x, this is 1, this is 2, 3 in the y, and as you see, we don't have equal in the sign, so we can use dash line. Now, how to represent the area of the solution set of this inequality? So, you can't choose any point from this part or from this part. It's up to you. So, I will choose here 0. Take 0, 0 and do test. Put the value of y 0. Is it less than 1 over 2? times zero plus two so here you have zero is it less than uh, one over two times zero will be zero zero plus two will be two is it zero less than two yes this is true inequality means this is a true solution means this is the area here of the solution, so you can shade it this part. And uh, if you try to take any, any any value from this side, for example, if you take, if you take uh, zero four, for example, and you can do test here, y will be four less than x will be 0 here, half times 0 will be 0, it means 2. Is it 4 less than 2? No, this is not correct. I mean, this is at this point, not the, sol the solution for this inequality. And this is not the area of the solution, just this area of the solution. Who has any question about this exercise? No question. Okay. Applying graphing in qualities into variables. If I have word problem, how to write the inequality and how to graph this inequality. Then you can send up to $20 
dollars to provide the dance sport with the drinks after their practice a bottle of water costs 0.80 dollars and the small thing costs 1.25 dollars how many bottles of water and small things can damage you buy for the dance school? So the first thing we want to write the inequality. From the words, we have this word here, 0.80 dollars. This is times the number of bottles water. Plus 1.25 dollar times the number of sport things. Less than or equal to twenty dollars. Then we want to represent variable. Let X the number of bottles of water and Y the number of sport drinks that Dominic you can buy. Then we will want to write the inequality. 0.80 times the number will be X. Plus 1.25 times the number of the score string will be y less than or equal 20 dollars. Now we have the inequality. Try to write this inequality like y less than. So you can remove you can remove 0.8x to the second side. It will be negative 0.8x. Then divide the two sides by 1.25. We will get y less than or equal negative 0.64x plus 16. Then, because you have here equals, use solid line. What is the area now? How to determine what is the area? If you choose any point like here, and as you see here, if you if you take zero zero, make this zero here, zero here. Is it less than or equal 20? Yes, zero less than or equal 20. So it means this is the area of the solution. If so you can shade it, this area, you can shade it, this area. So because uh, they make you cannot buy a negative number of things, so negative value of X and Y are non valuable non -valuable. options. So the domain and range must to be non-negative numbers. So this is the graph of the power. The test point zero zero is a solution of the inequality. So shade the closed half plane. That includes zero zero. Then interpret the solution in the context of this situation. Notice that there are infinitely many solutions of the inequality because buying fractional bottles of water or score thing is not responsible only the solutions in which both x and y are whole numbers are variable or, uh, or, or available on a variable solution is 10 bottles of water and eight sports drink In this example, solve linear inequalities. We have this inequality, negative four x plus seven greater than or equal eleven. How to graph this? Uh, the boundary here. How to graph the boundary? The first step. The first step. Notice here we have just one variable, not two variables. Just we have x. So to solve this inequality, try to remove seven. So subtract seven from the two sides, you will get negative four x greater than or equal four. Then divide the two sides by negative four will be x. Switch the sign will be less than or equal minus one. So this is minus one, draw of uh, sol solid line parallel with y in x's. Because here we have equal draw solid line. Now how to know what is the suitable area for this uh, solution? We can do test. Take zero zero. Substitute the value of x zero. Minus four times zero zero. Zero plus seven seven. Is it seven greater than or equal eleven? No. This is wrong inequality. Means 
this point not to include in the area of the solution and means this uh, the half this half not the area of the solution so you can shade it the next half or the next one so this is the area of the solution here in this example the graph of y equals 3x minus 4 is shown consider the solution of y greater than 3x minus 4. Here we have equation, here we have inquiry, and this is the graph. Write each point in the appropriate column. In the table, as we see here, we have in solution, here not in solution. How to know? Take the point, substitute in the inquiry. For example, take minus 5. 3 times minus 5, minus 15. Minus 15 minus 4 would be minus 19. And y would be minus 3. Is it minus 3 greater than minus 19? Yes. So I mean, this is solution. So put the point here. If you take this point 2, 2, substitute here. The value of x2, two, two, so 3 times 2, 6. 6 minus 4, 2. Is it 2 less than 2? No. 2 equals equal equal to. So it means this is uh, not the correct solution for this inequality. So this is not solution, put it here. So we can try the all points here and the all points here. Then if we have uh, the test correct, if you have the correct test, we can put in the solution. If we have wrong test, we can put where in the not uh, solution. So this is our lesson for today. Who has any question about uh, this idea? Are all ideas clear for all girls? No questions, Gabs? Are you hearing me? Gabs, yeah. are you hearing me? Okay. No questions? No. Okay. So uh, I will send to you the homework, inshallah. Uh, solve and send me again in the Teams. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will check the homeworks and we will uh, discuss together how to solve the exercise. So try today, make training to solve the uh, uh, exercises. Then tomorrow, inshallah, we will solve it uh, together. So don't forget the homework, send me today, inshallah. So this is our period for today. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته